Assalamu alaikum viewers. In today's video, we will learn types of nouns. As we all know that nouns are an important part of English speech, probably second only to verbs. It is difficult to say much without using a noun. There are several different types of English nouns. It is often useful to recognize what type a noun is because different types sometimes have different rules. This helps you to use them correctly. Now let's see common nouns and proper nouns. First of all, we will discuss common nouns. Most nouns are common nouns. Common nouns refers to people, places, and things in general, like chair or dog. Any noun that is not a name is a common noun. Examples, teacher, car, music, danger, received. Let's see some sentences. Have you seen my dog? The books are on your desk. The pursuit of happiness. Here, dog, desk, books and happiness all are common nouns now let's move on to proper nouns names of people places or organizations are proper nouns your name is a proper noun london is a proper noun united nations is a proper noun now there is a rule Proper nouns always start with a capital letter. For example, Jane, Thailand, Sunday, James Bond, Einstein, Superman, Game of Thrones, and Shakespeare. All are proper noun because the starting letter is capital letter. Now let's see the sentences for example let me introduce you to mary here mary is a proper noun because it is starting with a capital letter the capital of italy is rome here italy and rome both are starting with the capital letter so both are proper nouns he is the chairman of the british broadcasting corporation british broadcasting corporation is a proper noun I was born in November, so November is here a proper noun because it is starting with a capital letter. Now it is to be noted that adjectives that we make from proper nouns also usually start with a capital letter. For example, Shakespearean and Aurelian. Both are adjectives and have been started with capital letter. So we do not have to confuse both noun and adjectives. Now let's see other types of nouns, concrete noun and abstract noun. Let us discuss concrete noun first. Concrete nouns are physical things that you can touch. For example, man, rice, head, car, furniture, mobile phone, etc. Now let's see the sentences in which there are concrete nouns. How many stars are there in the universe? Have you met James Bond? Pour the water down the drain. Here in these sentences, the nouns which are used are concrete nouns. Now let us see abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are the opposite of concrete nouns. They are things that you cannot touch. Abstract nouns are ideas, concepts, and feelings. For example, happiness, courage, danger, and truth, etc. Now let's see the examples. He has great strength. Who killed President Kennedy is a real mystery. Sometimes it takes courage to tell the truth. Their lives were full of sadness. Here, strength mystery truth courage and sadness are all abstract nouns because we can't touch them 
or these are the opposite of concrete noun let us see other kinds of noun countable nouns and uncountable nouns first we will discuss about countable nouns countable nouns are also called count nouns you can count countable nouns countable nouns have singular and plural forms for example ball boy cat person i have only five dollars the earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago there are lots of people but we don't have a car now here in these sentences countable nouns have been used now let's see uncountable nouns these are also called mass nouns you cannot count uncountable nouns you need to use major words to qualify them to quantify them there is a rule for uncountable nouns we never use uncountable nouns with the indefinite article a and an uncountable nouns are always singular for example water happiness cheese now let's see some sentences have you got some money air conditioners use a lot of electricity do you have any work for me to do many asians eat rice here all the uncountable nouns which have been used are singular now let's see other kinds of nouns collective nouns a collective noun denotes a group of individuals for example class class is a group of students pride is a group of lions crew groups of sailors there is a rule for collective nouns collective nouns can be treated as singular or plural more about this at rules of subject verb agreement with collective nouns his family live in different countries okay an average family consists of four people the new company is the result of a merger the board of directors will meet tomorrow here you can see that there is a rule of subject verb agreement his family is a subject and live is a verb likewise in the second sentence the average family is used as a subject and consist is a verb the new company is used as a subject and is is used as a verb now the board of directors is used in place of a subject and will is used in place of verb so the rule is that this will follow collective nouns can be treated singular or plural but they will also follow the rule of subject and verb agreement with collective nouns let's move on to the next type of uh, noun that is compound nouns a compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words most compound nouns are noun plus noun or adjective plus noun each compound noun acts as a single unit and can be modified by adjectives and other nouns compound nouns have three different forms number one open or spaced space between words like bus stop there is a space between two words hyphenated hyphen between words mother in law there is or there are two hyphens between mother in law then closed or solid no space or hyphen between words like football there is no space between two words foot and ball examples cat food blackboard breakfast full moon washing machine and software now let's see some more examples in the form of sentences can we use the swimming pool the stop work at sunset the stop work at sunset don't forget the checkout in is at 12 noon now it is to be noted that all nouns are more than one type 
For example, common nouns can be concrete nouns or abstract nouns. The common noun danger is an abstract noun. And at the same and the same noun can change its type according to the meaning. For example, the noun light can be uncountable light in general or countable lamp in the form of lamp. It is countable. I hope you like this video. If you find it useful for you or it has any value, please like and share and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.